Okay, tell tell oh. us what, what that book says to you one one time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a long story. I try to make it short because you have a recording, <laughs> and I yeah. and Vinicius yeah. is waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Well, anyway, yeah. This is an unforgettable story because this is like one of my, my first for me is unforgettable because it's it was my maybe my first real jazz gig with somebody, you know, Dave Snyder, who was somebody who was playing with our Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. And I was mm -hmm. 19 years old and he just called me the day before, can you do a gig? You know, I guess just to sub for somebody, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I was 19 and I was super excited to go. And then when I arrived to the airport in Barcelona, suddenly in the check-in, I see Chet Baker and it's like, holy shit. And that's <laughs> Chet Baker, you know. So we flew to Sevilla and then, uh, from Sevilla, we had a bus ride that would take us for one hour driving from Sevilla to Cadiz, mm -hmm. where the concert was in the festival in Cadiz. And I was playing first and Chet Baker was playing after. Mm -hmm. and, but then I found out then, you know, when, when we got into the same bus and it's like, oh, Chet Baker is getting in the same bus that I'm getting. You know, it, it wasn't a public bus. It was a bus just for the two bands, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, my God. OK. Then, you know, somebody told me, no, no, he, Chet Baker is playing after we play. I say, oh, well, that's wonderful. Any, anyway, so I'm there sitting in the bus and then suddenly I see that Chet Baker comes where I am to where I'm sitting. And, and he says, like, hey, oh. Mm, is that a flugelhorn? And I had a flugelhorn because that time I was also playing trumpet and I was in love with the flugelhorn and I was always carrying it with me. Uh, and I said, yeah, yeah. And he said like, oh, can I use it for the concert? Because somebody stole my trumpet in Italy. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and I said, of course, I will be honored that you play my flugelhorn, of course. Mm -hmm. But I, I was a little cheeky, you know. I said, but you know, could I get a little lesson just from you in exchange? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh, of course. And yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll give it to you in a few minutes, you know. So he still went back to the front of the bus. And after a little while, he came back because he was like one of these school buses, no, for, for many yeah. kids, you know. And then he, yeah. he's, he, he, put, he put himself in the seat in front of me, you know, kind of like that, you know, sitting on top of yeah. the seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he said, okay, Jorge, here's your lesson. Whenever you play, just make sure that you make a beautiful sound, you know, wow. that the sound itself is beautiful because any note that you play doesn't matter the note. If, if it's with an ugly sound, it's going to sound ugly. Yeah. But if the sound is beautiful, doesn't matter what you play, it's going to sound beautiful yeah, and sound beautiful. everything else, everything else will work out itself, you know. Wow. If you make sure that the sound is beautiful, everything else will just come. It's, you don't have to worry. Wow. But, but if the sound is not good, yeah, imagine. And, that's and that a great was it. lesson. And he just left. That was it. That's, that's enough. That's a, a, a beautiful exactly. lesson. It's a great. <laughs> and because it's so short, it's unforgettable, you know? Yeah. It's just yeah. so short, but it's so deep because, of course, how do you define beauty? You know, beauty yeah. sometimes is very soft, sometimes it's very loud, sometimes it's very funny. So, yeah. but. But beauty is something that moves you. So I think when he's saying, make sure it's beautiful, I yeah. think that is the same as saying, make sure that it's something that moves you, that is something yeah. that, that you feel, yeah. uh, you know. And, and, and you that's, believe in you feel. Do you believe in it, exactly. Yeah. Then, of course, everything is going to come by itself because you are talking about something you love and, and you feel confident because you love it, you know. So yeah. nobody can talk about your love better than yourself. Yeah. So you just take so, but he didn't say all these things. All these things are implications of yeah. his 20 seconds, you know. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> yeah. That was the tips on folding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's some the deep best. wisdom. That's the, the, the deepest lesson that keep yeah. keep for, for all the life. Hey brother. Yeah. yeah. Georgie. Thank Georgie, <laughs> thank you for being here, man. Thank oh, you so much. Thank I'm you. Not...